What's going on guys, Pixelated back at it again with another review. Today we are looking at yet another Adidas collab. Don't worry, I'm gonna start varying it up in the coming days, but for now, it is the Adidas X Pharrell Human Race in the Tangerine colorway. Off the bat, I'm sure you noticed something different, and I'm not talking about the uneasiness you feel watching me trying to balance on this thing, but it's the unique lacing technique I used on these shoes, but we'll get into that later. This video isn't going to be as long as my other one, so I'll get to the gist of everything pretty quickly. A little backstory on Pharrell, he's a music producer who found fame in a production duo previously known as the Neptunes. It was him and Chad Hugo. They they gained mainstream popularity after producing tracks for artists like The Clips, Jay-Z, Slim Thug, and many more in the early 2000s. Although they had been producing for big names way before that since the 90s, Pharrell moved on to create his own clothing line called BBC or Billionaire Boys Club with the help of Nigo of Bape fame. How convenient of a timing to drop this video just as I released the Bape NMD video a couple days before. Please go check that out if you haven't already. Pharrell has since released albums with his band known as Nerd or NERD and music with Daft Punk collaborating with Adidas on Stan Smith, further cementing his name in the everyday music listener and fashion consumer's mind. This is just another addition to his already long resume. Now I know I say this about every collaboration in about every video so far, but the fact is it's true. I was a huge fan of Neptunes and Pharrell back in the day and they were one of my favorite producers growing up listening to the music I listened to. Adidas has been doing a great job of collaborating with people that I used to look up to and used to be huge fans of in the past and that includes Pusha T as well. I might have not got his shoes but I was a huge fan of him too. I still am and I still listen to his music. So when Pharrell collaborated with Adidas on the NMD, I had to get myself a pair. I wasn't a huge fan of the yellow color colorway that first dropped and I'm still not, but they released a set of five different colors a month or so later, black, blue, red, green, and tangerine, and tangerine was by far my favorite pair. Sad to say I did take an L on these and I ended up paying resale, so that's a bummer, but it's what comes with the territory, so that's that. These human race NMDs are super loud, so if you're not into that, you can either get the black pair or just avoid them altogether. The upper is primarily and predominantly orange or tangerine, with the word hue on the right shoe and race on the left stitched in all white, and it may possibly be 3M, I'm not entirely Entirely sure. There's a never ending debate on these NMDs if it's prime knit or not, and with the price point being $260 USD and $340 Canadian, respectively, that would be an utter disappointment on Adidas' part if it wasn't. I however hold true to my stubborn self and believe anything Adidas says, so the fact that it doesn't feel like mesh and is still soft and smooth, my guess is it's a prime knit blend in a different consistency. Prime knit is a mix of knit and some sort of futuristic woven material anyway, so it's hard to define something that new as an average consumer to begin with. Or maybe I'm just desperately trying to just the egregious price on these. Either way, they also look nothing like the typical NMD as the Lego blocks on both ends are blacked out and have a horizontal line going across them. The horizontal line replaces what is normally the Adidas text on the front block and you also notice that there are no three stripes around the midfoot of the shoe where you'll usually see them on an NMD, aside from the left heel pull tab. This is a nod to the meaning of the shoe as this collection is an ode to the human race and makes every attempt to nullify as much branding and logos as it can and rather focus on the different colors or hues since people come in all colors and races. It's a cool concept to base the collection off of since Pharrell's motive and his singles such as Happy and Freedom are all about rejoicing collectively and getting along with one another, but it might have been more meaningful if part of the high price tag actually went to some sort of cause that helped an organization of human beings in some sort of way. Because when you're charging that high a price tag for retail alone and preaching a deep message, it falls flat when there are no actions truly being taken to fulfill the objective of the message. Regardless, there are always shoes based on concepts and this is no different. Just a little gripe I had with the marketing of this sneaker and the collection. The NMD Lego blocks hold a unique lace cage on the lateral side and the one block on the medial side holds the other end of the cage. The shoe comes with tangerine laces and a set of alternative white laces. You can see I have them both laced uniquely on each foot. I prefer the white ones and will probably lace both sides in white later on. I know you're looking at the wacky lace job like what the f was this cat thinking hey listen man when i saw the lace cage i knew i had to mess around with lacing somehow and the idea of making my laces look like pistons on the side of an old muscle car came into mind so I tried to recreate that look and here we are. I don't have the time to show you how I laced these and to be honest most of it was just improvisation but maybe I can show you in the future. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. We then have the heel sock liner that's stitched over similar to a mesh NMD and the pull tabs stitched into the heel with the adidas three stripes on the left heel and the trefoil logo on the right in multicolors. Another shoe with pure white bottoms so they can get dirty as soon as I set foot on the road. Here's my outfit of the day. I took it on a different day but tried to wear the same things. Obviously 
obviously the pants are changed i'm wearing a kit sweater which is navy and yellow not the most flattering it's sort of a hockey jersey style fit but it's very cozy it can fit multiple layers underneath so if you're looking to layer like crazy this is your go-to you can see i'm wearing a long sleeve underneath the sleeves are long enough to be popping out at the ends i'm wearing black h&m zipper joggers amazing value for the price 35 dollars plus tax you can't go wrong hope you enjoyed the video if you took something from the video please make sure to leave a like if you copped a pair when they dropped or if you took the l or if these are on your radar and even if they aren't please leave me a comment let me know what your take is on this shoe or maybe on the collection did you pick up something from the collection i'd really like to know for more content for your eyes and your mind and your soul please hit that subscribe button catch you later pixelated out